Hey everyone, today I'll show you guys how to quickly prepare a simple laser cut box. Um, this only takes a few clicks of a button and you can create any sh uh, size of a box you want. Um, for beginners, this will be really useful for you and it will save you a lot of time. And if you already know this process or if you're in an advanced stage already, um, feel free to stick around or if you want, you can also watch some of my other videos on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel down below. I'd really appreciate that. So let's get started. There are two different websites that you can use to create a box quickly. Either MakerCase or Boxes.py. MakerCase lets you choose from three different types of boxes. Boxes.py lets you choose from a variety of different types of boxes. But I believe that MakerCase is a little bit more user friendly. Since we're making a really simple box today, just a six-sided box, we'll use MakerCase for this example. In MakerCase, you can choose between three different types. The basic box, which is your simple six-sided box. A polygon box, which you can choose how many sides that you want. And a curved bent box, which will round off the corners of your box. You can also create a marble run generator for 3D printing, but we won't be doing that today. So let's create our basic box. Choose your units, inches or millimeters, depending on where you are in the world. Let's choose inches for today for our American friends. Choose your dimensions, your width, height, and depth. 4 inch by 4 inch by 4 inch will do for today. And choose whether these dimensions are the inside or the outside of the box. We'll keep it to the outside of the box. Material thickness, choose from the drop-down list between 1 8 to 1 half. If your thickness is not there, you can also do custom thickness, which you can edit right here. We will choose 1 8 inch. And you can choose whether your box is open or closed. For open, it will delete the top part. And for closed, it will add the top side. Edge joint, you can choose either flat finger or t-slot we will do finger today and you can adjust your finger size here to make it bigger which will have less fingers or smaller which will add more fingers adding more fingers will um, make your corners stronger but it since it will have more surface area to glue on but it will look a little bit uglier in my opinion but if you Enlarge your fingers, you'll have less fingers, and it will give you a weaker corner, but it will look a little bit better. I like to keep it in the middle somewhere, maybe two or three fingers, and then we can download our box plan. You can also drag to rotate and scroll to zoom. So click download box plan. It'll show you a preview right here of what your SVG or DXF file will look like. You can adjust your labels and spacing. We'll disable the labels. We'll, we will separate the panels. You can either separate or combine it. We'll separate it for this example. You can adjust your line formatting to um, adjust your width of your line and adjust the color. And you can also adjust the curve and corner compensation I have not made a video on curve compensations yet, but basically it's to compensate for the size of your dot on your laser. For today, we'll do no curve compensation. And you can either download it as SVG or DXF. Let's download it as SVG. Save it to wherever you want to save it. Yes. And then you load it into your laser cutting software such as Lightburn. Here it is. Put this in a line layer so we can cut it out. Once you put it in a line layer, you can adjust your speed and power here to whatever speed and power is that will be good for your laser depending on the thickness of your uh, material. We'll do 10 and power we will do maybe 55 okay 
once you have that you can add any design that you want in the middle of the box or any text that you want and you can edit this box in any way you want by right clicking it and ungrouping everything so that each piece is ungrouped is on its own entity once you do that you can just highlight everything and send it off to your laser if you wanted to use boxes.py it's the same process you can choose whatever style of box that you want and then download it as SVG or DXF file. So it's the same concept, but you have more choices here. And that's it. That's all you really need to know about making boxes really quickly. If you have any questions, just send me a DM on my Instagram or Facebook at Laser Illusions Tech or um, leave a comment down below. Or if you want to email me, you can email me at laserillusionstech at gmail.com. And let me know what sort of stuff that you want to see next um, for my next video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't subscribed already, just please uh, hit the subscribe button down below. It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, it'll help me out to grow my channel and to keep pushing more content to you guys. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope you learned a lot today.